Starting with 1991 D. Jefferson Nickel with full steps. In numismatics, the term full steps refers to the quality of the steps on the reverse, back, side of a Jefferson Nickel. A coin with full steps exhibits well-defined and complete steps on the Monticello building. The steps details are critical in determining the coin's overall condition and can impact its value. PCGS reports just four specimens, including this one in Mint State 67 with full steps. It was sold for $1,051.88 with buyer's fee. 1991 D. Washington Quarter. The 1991 D. Washington Quarter is common in MS-65 condition and in lower grades. In MS-66 it is scarce and somewhat difficult to find. In MS-67 condition or higher it is rare and not many examples exist in MS-67 or higher. PCGS reports just four specimens in this lofty grade with none finer. This condition rarity is sharply struck and lustrous. It was sold for $1,743.75 with buyer's fee. Now, moving on to our next treasure from 1991. 1991 D. Kennedy Half Dollar. The 1991 D. Kennedy Half Dollar is easy to obtain in most grades ranging up to about MS-65. Examples in MS-66 are tougher but with enough searching examples can be found or obtained inexpensively. In MS-67 they are very hard to find and expect to pay a significant premium for examples in this condition or higher. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of January 2024, a Kennedy half dollar from 1991 in circulated condition is worth between 55 cents and 65 cents. However, on the open market 1991 D half dollars in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $1,900. This MS-68 specimen was sold for $2,418.74 with buyer's fee. 1991 P. Nickel overstruck on a 1990 P. Dime. Graded in Mint State 64 by NGC. Satiny and untoned with jumbled and unabraded surfaces. The portrait of Roosevelt is surprisingly sharp, and gazes north relative to the portrait of Jefferson. The dime mint mark is bold, as is the upper half of the dime date. Only a small portion of the nickel mint mark and date are present, but the base of the second one is apparent. It was sold for $4,600. And now, the elusive 1991 Silver Eagle in Mint State 70. Despite the large mintage of nearly 7.2 million pieces, relatively few 1991 Silver Eagles have been certified in the ultimate grade of MS-70, making the issue one of the strongest values of the series at that level. This incredible specimen offers technically perfect brilliant surfaces, with fully struck design elements and vibrant mint luster. It was sold for $5,405. Moving on to this error half dollar. Double struck 1991 to 1995 World War II half dollar. Graded as PR66 by NGC. This impressive Philadelphia mint error exhibits two off-center strikes that are slightly offset so that both strikes are clearly visible. The widest part of the unstruck planchet is just over 3 mm, suggesting that the two strikes are about 10 to 15% off center. Delicate champagne toning appears on the light gray proof surfaces of this copper nickel half dollar. It was sold for $10,575. 1991 D. Lincoln sent in Mint State 69 Red. The ultimate grade for registry set collectors. According to Coin Grading Service, just about anyone can own a 1991 D. Lincoln sent as the mint struck over 4 billion examples. Coins up to about MS-67 condition are fairly common. In MS-68 they become much scarcer but for a small premium one can be obtained fairly easy. But in MS-69 condition or higher they are rare. Satiny copper red luster is visually flawless, complementing sharp devices and carbon-free surfaces on this one. It was sold for $11,400. Wrapping up our journey into the super-valuable US coins from 1991, it's clear that these pieces are not just a part of history but also prized possessions for collectors. If you enjoyed this exploration, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. And, of course, subscribe for more exciting coin-related content. Take care.